Are you tired of wasting your hard-earned money on shitty kitchen gadgets that don't work? Vivian calls the BS. With Vivian Tries, you just sit back and enjoy, just like being in your kitchen with a good old friend. Hello you guys and welcome back to another Vivian Tries. On this Vivian Tries, I have for you another As Seen On Television product. Today we're trying the Granite Rock Pan. Absolutely no plans of trying this thing, but so many of you guys have requested it and have told me that you have watched the infomercial that I thought, okay, I will give it a try. I bought this pan for $19.99 at Target and of course, the infomercial gives you all these freebies, but in the actual store, you don't get those things. That needs to change. Just my opinion, I wanna get all the freebies. I don't wanna have to order over the phone or on the internet. I'm thinking, okay, for $19.99, you're gonna get all that? For $19.99, I only got the pan at Target. What's that about? I want all those extras because I'm getting ripped, I think, if I go to Target. Target, y'all need to negotiate these deals with these companies and go, hey, our customers are getting ripped because you're giving all these freebies online. Why online, when we shop with you direct, do we get all these freebies? Are you harvesting our information? Hmm? We can't just shop anonymously at Target. It's not really anonymous, but you know what I mean. That's just me and my conspiracy theories. There you go, there's another one for you. So with the granite pan, we're gonna test a couple of things that I saw in that infomercial. I have here some disgusting salmon. You guys might love salmon, I hate salmon, but I do have some salmon here. I have a candle for the funk that's gonna come off this salmon. Does not completely cause me to faint <laughs> while we're filming. I have some eggs because in the infomercial they cooked half a dozen eggs in here and then they just rolled it out. We're gonna try that. Um, little pumpkin spice morsels to melt and some hard caramel candies to melt in here. We melted down these sticky candies in granite rock and it just doesn't stick. In that infomercial, you guys, they busted a rock on here. To withstand even the worst abuse for a lifetime of use guaranteed. I didn't have a rock, but I had this little pot that I thought, hey, it's clay kind of like a rock. <laughs> in my head, that's what I thought. So I'm gonna put it in here and I'm gonna bust it to see if it scratches. I don't think it's gonna scratch. It has a really nice design. You guys know that I fell in love with my sexy ass blue diamond pan. That pan, just in case you're wondering, is still perfect, it's still intact. I still use it a lot. There's nothing different with this pan. You see what I'm saying? Unless you just want a pan that looks like granite rock, <laughs> like the Flintstones. Now in the infomercial, they did make a claim that made me go, well, aren't all pans made this way? I don't know, I'm not a pan making expert, but if you are, please let me know this in the comments down below. Granite Rock will be the last pan you'll ever own because it's pressed from a solid aluminum disc for even heat conduction. Aren't all of them stamped out of aluminum? Is there a pan out there that is pieced together? Based on what I'm seeing here, I don't see anything different besides the little spray on color they put on, or as the infomercial says, the layers and layers of coating that they have put on here, granite coating, spray paint. I'm just saying, I don't know. I'm not for sure, but I'm just saying. There ain't nothing fancy about this. Just like the copper pans, just like the blue diamond pans, just like every other pan. So it says granite rock. This is a 10 inch nonstick fry pan, PFOA free. I have no idea what the hell that means, but they brag about it. Granite rock titanium nonstick coating, mineral enforced. What kind of minerals? Metal utensil safe, cold touch handle, safe in an oven up to 500 degrees. No oil or butter needed. So now let's see if it tells me to season it. I'm not gonna season it though, but I'm gonna check to see if it says that. Don't cry in my comments telling me to season this now. To obtain a replacement or repair, send the product back with your name, address, phone number. They'll replace it, but you gotta pay for the replacement. For best performance, never use nonstick sprays. Interesting. We cut this perfectly seared steak right in the pan without scratching. <laughs> Number two under best performances says, no sharp objects of any 
type should be used on the inside or outside of granite rock cookware. Excuse me, read that again. You're just conscious. No sharp objects of any type should be used on the inside or on the outside of granite rock cookware. Nowhere does it say to season this pan. It looks really nice. I'm about to start telling you how sexy it is because it is really nice. We're going to start with our eggs because they're the easiest thing and we try eggs pretty much on every pan. So the heat of the pan I have on low medium, just like they said in the instructions. Maybe I should crack it with this. No. Number one. Oh yeah. Two. They made this part look super easy in that infomercial. They just rolled six eggs right out of this pan. One more. Six. Put it right there. I feel like I have my, my own cooking show. You guys know I'm a motherfucking professional chef, but now I have my own TV show. Oh my God. Okay, cheese on top. We're gonna let that cook for a couple of more minutes and then we're gonna work. My plates are kind of small though. I might wanna go get a, a larger plate. Otherwise I might, but my eggs on top ain't gonna be cooked. Maybe, <laughs> you know, old school, put a plate like that. No, <laughs> how am I gonna cook the top of that? What? How, how am I gonna cook the top of my eggs? What'd they do in the infomercial? I don't remember. That's not feeling like nonstick. Look. Okay, I'm gonna help it. But that is not feeling like nonstick. It's looking pretty good now. I went and got a larger plate. I'm gonna put it over the top because I want the top of my eggs to cook just a little bit <laughs> from the heat from, you know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about. I don't have a lid. That's another thing. Why don't these pans come with lids? I know they try to sell you like separate lids now, the copper chef people do. This shit should have come with a lid. I'm just saying. So because it doesn't come with a pan lid, you gotta do this Puerto Rican style where you just put a plate like that. If you try this little Puerto Rican trick where you put the plate over the top, be very careful because your plate's hot as hell now. And be smart and wear some gloves <laughs> okay they smell like mozzarella cheese and eggs i'm not gonna flip it i'm just gonna slide it off just like they did in the infomercial now if it doesn't come off i'll obviously have to flip it but that's not what they did i don't think we'll try both ways just in case i'm wrong all right first we're gonna do this to see if it moves around maybe i can help loosen it up <laughs> it's jiggling all right but it ain't mm -mm. that ain't the kind of jiggle i want to see you're gonna bust up my yolks. I wanna get my spatula and help it, but no. <laughs> mm. Come on, no. I swear to God, if it busts my yolks. <laughs> is that something, is that something pornographic? <laughs> it might, oh no. You're destroying my little omelet looking thing. This is not an omelet. I don't know what the hell this is called. I'm gonna make a damn mess in my studio and I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> You're not non-stick. I might be wrong. We might need to flip it. Get ready for the magic. One, two, three, go. Put it down, Vivian, put it down. I didn't hear a thump. I didn't hear eggs crashing down. I didn't hear anything happening. I still think they're stuck to this pan. <laughs> non-stick, what, say that again? <laughs> Play that commercial one more time for me. Maybe I'm for like three minutes at least. Ready? One, two, three, go. <laughs> Let's just take a peek. Oh my God. <laughs> Non-stick, huh? Let's see. <laughs> Who's impressed? <laughs> I don't wanna bust out my eggs. Come on. I don't want my yolks to buzz. The eggs are like the most basic things we try on this channel. Eggs. Look at this. Damn, I'm pretty impressed with my yolks staying in place. Yeah, that's not happening. Sometimes you need a little bit of help, even though you claim something different on the infomercial. I'm just gonna flip it. 
<laughs> Nothing. Fucker. Nonstick, huh? I'm gonna have to scrape them out of here so that we can see what the hell's happening underneath this dam. Sunny side up. I don't know what the hell this is called. Here we go. What's happening? Let's see if they'll come off now. <laughs> what a damn mess. So much for non Look at this. Non-stick. I don't know if you think that's non-stick. But it's definitely not, not non-stick for me. So I'm going to say you failed the egg test. You fail horribly. Look at this mess. Really? <laughs> there you go, just like in the infomercial. See, I'm a professional chef. This had nothing to do with me. This is the pan. Now let's try wiping this like they do in that infomercial. See if it comes off just like it does. No. Look at this. Who do I call? <laughs> It came right, no it did not come right off there. There is a little bit of egg still on there. Oh my goodness, so much for that. I do like the way it feels. It has a really cool texture to it. It does feel kind of like granite rock. So that's cool, but it's still not stick. Granite rock or no granite rock. The infomercial actually said we could just wipe it out of there. So obviously you're gonna have to scrub good to get your stuck on eggs off. Oh, let's put in the candy first, right? Hard caramel. Is that gonna stick? Probably. Oh. oh, ooh, they smell yummy. Or is it this? It's the pumpkin slice, is it? Yes, it, oh, it smells so good. I think about Thanksgiving and Halloween. Look at this gourmet meal I'm making you guys. <laughs> this is so gross. My caramels are melting. Ooh, do you see? Oh my God, they're. Okay, let's mix it in with my pumpkin spice. What kind of candy am I making here, you guys? Ooh, my studio is gonna smell like yummy caramel pumpkin spice. I just think I made my own candy right here. We're gonna start a candy business, guys. So far, it's non-stick, right? <laughs> what kind of nasty-ass concoction is Vivian making today? This. <laughs> I'm gonna make you some caramel pumpkin spice balls that I melted in my granite. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> I gotta give it a new name. I forgot one very important ingredient. <laughs> this is gonna be a caramel pumpkin spice scrambled egg <laughs> ball. <laughs> Why? Because there is still a little bit of residue of my eggs. Nobody needs to know that. That's just, that's family business. That, that's between us. We don't share family business with company. You know, eat at your own risk, <laughs> eat at your, you know, <laughs> eat at your own risk. I'm going to start coughing. I'm still sick, guys. You know, when you go to the office, people be bringing desserts and you're like, oh, did you buy that? No, I made it. You're like, mm -mm. <laughs> I ain't eating that shit. <laughs> I don't know if you had fucking egg residue in your pan when you fucking made that. No, ma'am. See? Oh, what the hell is, what did I make? <laughs> Nothing, nastiness. What is this? I just need my fart spray. <laughs> no, it would ruin the pumpkin spice. It would ruin the pumpkin spice. Don't kill the pumpkin spice smell. You know, I have some uh, pumpkin spice Toll House experts out there or caramel experts out there. What is this liquid in here? Is it water? Is it oil? I don't, it doesn't look like oil, but it came from this. Here we go. Non-stick magic. Voila. I don't know what the hell kind of concoction I just made, but I'm telling you, all I need now is my fart spray. <laughs> Look at that. I just made a Tootsie Roll. <laughs> Ooh, did I just discover the secret recipe to Tootsie Rolls? I don't know what that liquid is, but it's grown. <laughs> Ew. I don't know what I just made, but, um, Do you guys hear that? That's not a sound effect coming from my mouth. That's the sound effect coming from this stuck on caramel 
from a non-stick pan. There you go. We melted down these sticky candies in granite rock and it just doesn't stick. Let's wipe it. <laughs> nope. Okay, I got all the oil off. There's plenty of things stuck on there. That's not good. Caramel is, wow. This was a partial fail because the majority of the product came off. It didn't totally stick like the eggs, but there's definitely product still stuck on here. This is not gonna be an easy little wipe. You guys, I don't know. I don't know what I think yet. Well, I know what I think, but I'm not gonna tell you yet because I'm trying to reserve my till the end. <laughs> It was not hard to wash, but you know, when I'm at the sink, I think it looks clean, but when I get up here under all these lights, I can kind of still see where it got stuck. I don't know if that's a stain or that's just a thing under these lights. You see it right there? Is that me? Do you see it? Somebody want to explain what that's about? Don't say it's my uh, dishwashing skills because this thing's supposed to be non-stick, remember? Now for our next test, we're gonna light my candle because there is no way in hell my studio is gonna smell like eggs, pumpkin, spice, caramel, scrambled egg, and salmon. Hell no. So we're gonna put a little candle here, pray to the cooking gods that the funk is gone. I wanna give you guys a disclaimer for those of you guys that love seafood and salmon. I only play a professional chef on television. I'm not one in real life. I don't know if you know that. But I'm just letting you know. So I might completely slaughter cooking this thing, but the idea is that it won't stick. That's really what I'm testing here. They said the skin will not stick. One, two, three, go. Bam. We're gonna let it cook up a little bit, and then I'm gonna see if it sticks. <laughs> Ooh, it's starting to smoke. <laughs> okay, you guys ready? Oh my God. I'm gonna try to move it. Ooh, okay. Flip it. Let's flip it over. I burned it. <laughs> Just a little bit, not a big deal. That was my fault. Flip it. Hey, that looks like a decently partially cooked piece of salmon. The only thing that has passed our test is the salmon. In the infomercial, did this not happen? We cut this perfectly seared steak right in the pan without scratching. I believe the instructions told us to not put anything sharp inside of the pan or outside. But your infomercial is telling me different. So who do I believe? The infomercial or the instructions? Two different people wrote those scripts? I'm just asking. In the infomercial, they cut a piece of steak open right in the pan and it says it will not. I don't have a piece of steak, but I have a piece of salmon that we're going to put back in here. One, two, three, go. Okay, I heard it. You see the little pattern? It's almost like camouflaging shit. That's what I'm noticing. That sounds like it's scratching. Is it my imagination? I'm sorry, now that I wiped off all the salmon juices, I can see my scratches. Let me zoom in so you guys can see it too. Even my caramel is in there, or egg. I don't know what the hell that is, look. Here is our final test, the rock test. We're gonna pretend this is a rock. I think this is actually softer than a rock, isn't it? It's like clay. We're gonna put it in here, <laughs> and then I'm gonna bust it with this, and then I'm gonna bust it into powder, because that's what they do in the infomercial. So far, I am not impressed with this pan at all. One, two, three. Oh my God, I need goggles. Let me protect my eyes. Ready, one, two, three, go. Okay, wait a second. I need a sledgehammer, like in the infomercial. Okay, it broke. Okay. That's enough of that. Fucking pieces of pot went everywhere. Not pot pot, like pot, but like 
planting pots. This is a dumb test. I don't know why they did this in the commercial. Let me inspect. And let me zoom in so you guys can see where the pot just scratched that. Girl. You see it there? Yep. I tested only one. The salmon did not stick. Everything else pretty much failed. So for all of those reasons, I'm going to give this guy two Vivian heads. All right, you guys, so that is it for another Vivian Tries. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up for me in the comments down below. Let me know if you've seen a cool as seen on television product that you think I should try and it might get featured in an upcoming episode. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'm putting out one to two videos every week for your entertainment. Don't forget to share the video with your family and your friends and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!